Hello, lovely people of Ghana. Welcome back from that break. I'm still your host, Jamila Kasim. So, this is the G Talk segment, and today we are going to discuss about how how shouting at children affects them psychologically and emotionally. So, here with me, I have some two beautiful ladies who are going to help us dive deeper into this topic. So, my guest, introduce yourself. My name is Adelaide Amalia, and I am your guest for today's Joy Talk. Hello, lovely viewers. My name is Michelle Tre, and I am a guest. Okay, so Adelaide, what do you think about shouting on children? Shouting on children can disturb children. Or if, some, if the child is doing something, it can disturb or distract the child. That brings things to the child. Okay, from you. Yeah, so most of us know shouting on children as like when parents yell at them or scold them for doing something wrong. But I think it's a form of discipline, but it also has a negative impact. On so the you think it's a form of discipline? Yes. Okay, but it has its own negative part. Can you tell me some of the negative effects of shouting on children? Okay, so. When, let's, when your parents scold you, the hateful words they use, they can cause depression. Okay. Yeah. And also, they can decrease your self esteem. They can decrease your self esteem. Yes. So, what do you think, Alma, do? Yes, I think what she said, what she said is also right. Okay. That's what I also think. It can even distract you or when you go when it's in the morning you're going to school, then your mom scolds you. You can cry till you go to school. And go to school can also be disturbed. Now when it's child you teach you. Not you not understand. understand. Okay, but what do you think are some of the causes of like the year or the scolding the appearance give to us? Because you can't just be there and say, Hey, I draw this, that we do something. So like what are some of the things we do for our parents to yell at us? Okay. Sometimes when our parents tell us that we should put this thing here, then we do it at that moment. Then the next day we don't put it there. Our parents yell at us that whatever that they say, we don't want to mind. Sometimes even if they are talking to you, then you look at them with uh, an eye. They become angry and start talking in how to. Okay, I hear. Yeah, so like I say, if the person is. Um, not disciplined because if you are disciplined, parents don't like yell at you that much. Like if you don't do something you are supposed to do, that's why they yell at you, and mm -hmm. that's what parents yell. The shout. Okay. Okay. So what are some of the things you think that children can do so that our parents will stop scolding us? Okay, first I'll say that they should listen attentively to their parents, and they should be disciplined and listen to whatever they say. Okay, yeah, I think what she said is right. You think it's right, so you don't have anything to add up for. Okay, what I think is that when our parents talk, we should listen and we shouldn't be like my, my mother likes talking, my mother likes talking. When okay. we do that, they become angry and start scolding and yelling at us. Okay, so viewers, we have heard a lot from our guest okay so what do you like what do you think are some of the like emotional effects shouting or scolding has on their child okay some of the emotional effects are you can become angry you'll be you'll be tempered at once then you can start talking the other way so, like okay. i'm trying to say like the effect the effect. emotional effect it has on the child okay you can become angry that you will not eat the food your mom gives to you because i know children who are like that are like that okay yeah, yeah i'll say that they'll I, depression and they'll be really high tempered so high -tempered, yeah or quick tempered yeah they'll really be angry at their parents and maybe they can even start throwing things at their parents so Okay, so Amadu, do you think that's the only emotional effect all this has on children? I think, okay, I have one that maybe that when you scold your child, your child can just get out and start doing all sorts of things that 
the child don't have to do like using drugs and influenced by peers okay so what do you think will be the alternative what do you think will be the alternative of shouting like instead of shouting what should parents do okay instead of shouting you can take your child and let your child sit by you you talk to your child politely and you tell your child to listen attentively to you else your child else you can the, the child cannot go or that to be a good citizen okay yeah. okay yeah like what she said i'll say that they should um, like do counseling and guidance for their children okay. and as a form of discipline they should maybe let's say be depriving them of their gifts and toys you think that like the deprivation of gifts can also do instead of yeah because you know children like let's say your mother will say do this and i'll buy this for you so like if you say you don't buy this for them like they'll have the uh, mindset to do everything you tell them not so all children. Get... okay yeah. so i'm ready do you agree with her no not to other children when you tell them that you buy it for them they'll tell you that they don't believe you okay yeah, okay. So okay so you think that if they deprive um, them from their gifts it will make them strict or stable or, okay so um that's what you think will be the alternative here okay yes i get what you're saying because that's not always the matter some children who are also like yeah they also rebel uh, rebellious so okay. yeah all that so since you said some children are rebellious, what do you think parents who have rebellious children can do? Okay. Um, rebellious children. Okay, I'll say that like okay, they should take them to like guidance and counseling meetings. They should like let them go out for sports and other things to help them, like to cool their temper and okay. those things. Yeah. Okay, viewers, we have heard it all. As Amrado said, we should come down, uh, pay our, our edge payment to come down with their kids, and then they should be able to have that interaction or bond with their kids so that whenever the children go wrong, they can correct them. And as our lady here said, we should the parents should be able to hang out with their children, go to sporty places, to interact with them, to actually know what is going wrong with them so that they can correct them instead of shouting and yelling at them which can cause them to be timid and very very shy